final speaker before our much delayed coffee break um, is Jolan Chen, the founder and lead developer of Flowchain, an open source based IoT blockchain solution, uh, both areas in which he has research interests also. So, Jolan. How many ways can we mess up the technology? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Jordan from the Fortune Project. Today, I'm going to introduce the Fortune Project in a bit and show how it's how it uh, inter integrate with the IPFX. Uh, as we know, the blockchain. It's an emerging technology. Maybe it's changing our life. And what's blockchain? It's also a blockchain technology, especially denied for the Internet of Things. And the most important feature of blockchain is the capability of real-time transactions. So the Bitcoin is a D. Centralized, centralized blockchain system, um, but not fully distributed. So another distributed ledger technology, the IPFX, which is possibly also change our life. It's fully distributed. So the blockchain is a technology that's not only decentralized but also fully distributed. Um, Fortune can integrate with IPFX, but it doesn't mean that the Fortune is built on IPFX. Uh, actually, it's not. Fortune is not built on IPFX. It's denied from the ground. Uh, I mean, it's denied from the layer. Especially, it has its own algorithms, uh, its architectures, uh, the algorithms and architectures has already published in several academic papers uh, last year. So what benefits Fortune bring to IPFX? One is the real-time transactions capability, and the other is the hybrid blockchain architecture. So I will show a very quick demo shortly to explain what is, uh, what's hi hybrid blockchain architectation power. So blockchain removes the PKI and use the PK, PPKI. The PPKI is also called pseudonymous authentication. It's a ten an authentication technique started in 1990, I think. So the PK PPKI comprises of two random numbers. One is a lambda and another is a puzzle. A puzzle is a question. So the IoT devices have to answer the puzzles and use the answers in the translations as the signatures. So that's the whole picture of the hybrid blockchain technology. The IoT devices are self self-organized as a peer-to-peer -peer network uh, in the private blockchain. And the PPKI in the public blockchain generates a pair of PPKI for IoT devices. And the IoT devices can use the lambda value as their public key. So the public key can help the public blockchain to also authenticate the IoT devices. And another random number is the puzzle. The puzzle is a very long string. Of, I mean, it's a large size of a string, roughly uh, 500 bytes, even longer. The puzzle is broadcasting to private chain, to IoT devices, and IoT devices have to answer the uh, questions of the puzzle after it's solving the, uh, solving the questions of the puzzle. It can use these answers in the blockchain data structure 
I will show the data structure later in my slides later. So in short, it's the most important thing for IoT devices because as previous mentioned, the IoT device has less, less computation power and less memory size. So we have to use another technique for devices authentication. So in short, I want to code the fraudulent network as an IoT trust machine. As we know, there are many newspapers uh, mentioned the Internet of Blockchain as the Internet of Trust. The idea is good because we have to improve the Internet uh, for better life. So the trust machine of fraudulent comprises of three important uh, factors. One is the transactions of the data. And the second one is the signature, which is generated from the parcel. And the third, last one is the public key. The public key are generated by the public blockchain. Uh, actually, it's generated by the miners in the public blockchain. So if you are running a fraudulent node and join fraudulent public blockchain network, you can receive black rewards uh, uh, like the Bitcoin. So the algorithm is simple, but I think I don't have too much time to explain the algorithm to details today. So if you need some technical details, uh, I mean the number ones. So it's very secure because the public keys are very hard to uh, predict and very hard to hack. So that's the fundamentals of fraud chains, real-time transactions technologies. Um, real-time is very important for us. It's because according to the reports, in the future, we may have about 30% of the global data, uh, which would be real-time data. So the PPKI is a, a fundamental of fraud chain to achieve real-time data transactions. Mm -hmm. Another important technology of fraud chain is the virtual block. Uh, the idea is very simple. Every IoT device has its own local blockchain. You can find the term uh, virtual chain in some research papers. So the idea is quite, quite the same. Every device has a fork. The fork means that every IoT device has its own branch from the Genesis block. And this setup enables the blockchain network to remove the needs of handling hard fork, like the traditional blockchain systems such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So what's the relation between the virtual blockchain and real-time data transactions? So let's go back to the IPFX interplanetary file system. Uh, IPFX cuts a file into several pieces of data. Each piece is called a chunk. So for example, I have a file and IPFX cuts it into four data chunks. And each chunk is a transition to for trans private network. So let's uh, pay attention to the left, your right, right down corner. So there are four pieces of uh, the streaming data. The third one is uh, labeled as D3. And by using for trans peer-to-peer algorithm, the data D3 selects 
the note of uh, label the M5 as its succession node. A resolution of a succession node is random. Um, and the resolution is very secure because the solution is based on the hash key, and the hash key is very hard to predict and very hard to attack fraudulent technologies. So I'm going to figure out the third and fourth the fraud of the fraud in this uh, whole picture. So we can pay attention to just the red uh, red words. So let's start from the virtual blocks mining. Uh, each IoT node has a virtual block miner to generate virtual blocks locally. Uh, locally means the virtual blocks are uh, stored in the flash, or in, I mean in the local storage of the IoT devices. You don't need to send the virtual blocks to the internet. So you can set up, I mean this architecture reduces lots of bandwidth and can be used in several uh, highway constraint devices such as uh, Arduino. So actually, we have Arduino and IoT devices demo on the first floor uh, in our booth. So, and there is also a fraudulent node called Hybrid Node. It's a gateway between the private blockchain and public blockchain. After preparing the virtual blocks, the IoT node can submit the virtual blocks to the hybrid node for consensus. Then after the virtual blocks were verified successfully, all transactions of virtual blocks will be sent to IPFS node for store transactions uh, and data. So I'm going to simply introduce the whole process in this simple diagram. So if you are running a fraudulent hybrid node, then you are mining fraudulent blocks, and you will, you will receive block rewards as well. So the, the process is quite simple. The first step is to verify virtual blocks to see if the virtual blocks are valid or invalid. Then the hybrid node will be responsible uh, for building DAG for Mercury in the virtual blocks. Then the virtual blocks goes to a new block and broadcast to the blockchain network. Uh, after the new block uh, has been verified, by fraudulent network, uh, you will be received blockchain uh, block rewards. So I just give uh, everyone a quite simple idea about what fraudulent project is and uh, how the project supports the IoT. Um, currently, we are working with our vendors in China to bring our IoT blockchain ideas to the market. I think a, we don't have an exact sca schedule, but actually I think we will ship in the products in October this year, by, this, by the end of this year. So I'm giving a demo Everything mentioned today is on the GitHub. Uh, of course, everything is open source. And how to quick start using Fraudtrain? Uh, please go to the Fraudtrain's GitHub and download the responsibility of uh, Fraudtrain hybrid. 
but it's still under the test net, I mean the private beta. We will be launching the main name on next month, April, April, I think. So I, I already had have a fortune hybrid in my laptop. So you can just start a main application. The file name is uh, index.js. Uh, yes, the fortune implementation is all 100% in JavaScript. And from the screen console, this message uh, shows that it is connecting to the test names uh, of Fortran and start to mining local blocks. And here I have a West Subkey client sending streaming data to the hybrid node. So there is no virtual blocks for now, so the data cannot be verified. But uh, we have to wait another one minute to see the results. But uh, it's OK. We can wait for another one minute. So I have a recap video. It's about two minutes. I will show the video later. So if you are interested, in Fortran's technologies, uh, please visit our website, Fortran.co, and check out the source codes in our GitHub. Um, for more news, please follow, uh, follow my Twitter. My name is Joran, so uh, I think it's very easy to search. Here it's a uh, two minutes video to recap my presentation today. Flowchain is a distributed ledger technology for peer to peer. It could cost 3.3 billion US dollars when compared to centralized cloud computing. Now, Flowchain's computing pool is here to resolve the issue of high costs. Private blockchain represents IoT blockchain. With Flowchain's exclusive Flowchain tokenized chip, and Software Development Kit, SDK, the IoT companies can build their own IoT blockchains on Flowchain's private blockchain. The advantage is that companies can customize their product and service based on Flowchains. The entire system can be seen as an ecosystem called Hybrid Blockchain. It uses pseudonymous public key infrastructure, PPKI, to audit the IoT device identification to ensure the data security and the auditing speed. With PPKI, the nodes on public blockchain can efficiently and rapidly audit